With all this talk about electric vehicles, there are some interesting perspectives that differ between men and women. With 33 electric vehicles or EV models available today, drivers are thinking about if they should buy an electric car as their next vehicle. Now, it's important to know that women own 62% of the cars on the road and have 85% of the buying decision. So when it comes to EVs, men and women have completely different perspectives. It's important to know that on the roads today, there's only 6.3% of the vehicles that are electric cars and drivers are getting a significant push and lots of incentives from the government and promotions from the brands to consider an electric car. And people are looking at their options. Cars.com found some very interesting data that might surprise you on what consumers are thinking about when it comes to electric cars. But before we dig into that, I wanna remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts. The results of this study and data from JD Power found that men are significantly more likely to be considering an electric vehicle compared to women. With one in three men, percars.com, are considering an EV for their next vehicle purchase compared to just one in five women. Women are more likely to gravitate towards a trusted established OEM like Toyota or Honda, where men have the highest interest in Tesla followed by Ford. 15% of men also mentioned Rivian, where only a few women did. According to a 2022 registration data for new plug-in hybrids or PHEVs and electric vehicles, women are most likely to purchase a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited 4xe followed by a Ford Mach-E. The study also stated that women are most likely to find the reduced fuel cost as a main benefit for EV ownership. Men are significantly more likely to find reduced maintenance costs to be the primary benefit as well as performance, speed, and convenience. Both genders share initial price as the biggest drawback, but women are significantly more likely to have concerns about the inability to charge at home or at work, maintenance costs, and home charging installation. Men tend to have typical concerns such as range anxiety and charging times. Men are significantly more likely to consider themselves very knowledgeable when it comes to EVs, while women admittedly have a lot to learn. Women are very receptive to learning more about EVs, specifically with understanding service costs, range, and impact of electric bill. They have a high interest in learning about home charger installation, EV service, and tax credits. They are significantly more likely than men to want to learn about different powertrains of EVs and understanding different charging types. Lower initial cost would have the greatest impact on both genders in deciding to purchase an EV. Men are significantly more interested in seeing improvements on range for batteries. While the frequency in which consumers see EVs on the road plays an important part of adoption, local dealership stocking of electric cars, and consumers having a personal experience with one as a driver or a passenger makes a big difference. They're also most likely to convert from a gasoline powered vehicle to an electric vehicle, but many have chosen hybrids or plug-in hybrids known as PHEVs. The bottom line is to do your homework and read the small print. The dealer can give you a test drive, but you need to confirm the cost of insurance, monthly payments, charging station fees, and home charging, plus a certified professional installation has to install your charging station in your home. Remember that the federal tax credit may not apply to nearly as many vehicles that are electric in the future, and the federal rules will change for 2023, and each state has its own incentives as well. This is truly where knowledge is power. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, put that down below. I'll be happy to answer that. All my links for social media, the book, and the podcast are in the description. Thank you so much for your support on our Patreon page. Thank you for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.